delicious cheesy breads are made with Parmesan cheese and rice flour. Let's start by preheating the oven to 450 degrees. To start making these cheesy breads, we're adding milk, water, oil, and salt. And we'll put that in our saucepan. We're going to put that on medium, medium high heat, and we're gonna stir that frequently, bringing that to a simmer, so roughly about a minute or so. So your liquid ingredients have now come to a simmer, the salt has dissolved. You'll remove it from the heat and you'll gradually add in your rice flour. I like to add this in just from the parchment paper. It's just easier for me. I can see where my rice flour is going. We're going to put that on medium, medium high heat. We're going to stir continuously and cook for two minutes. This is going to really start to coagulate. The starches are going to start to gel. You're going to note that there's a film on the bottom of the pan. It actually starts to look somewhat similar to mashed potatoes. You're really just trying to get the excess liquid out of this. You're actually also in essence toasting the rice flour a bit and you're removing excess water. So now we're gonna transfer the mixture to the mixing bowl and we're going to put the paddle attachment on. And now what we're doing is trying to release some steam. We're gonna go ahead and do that for about a minute or so. Now we have two eggs off to the side. What I did is I whisked those eggs and I actually add in half at a time. And this just allows for it to incorporate easier for the liquid to absorb. I make sure that the egg is no longer visible. And last but not least, we'll add in our Parmesan cheese and mix for an additional 30 seconds. What we're looking for is the cheese to just slowly start to melt a little bit. Now you can add in any cheese, but the Parmesan cheese is a really nice, strong, sharp cheese. We're gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl, everything off of the paddle, and um, we'll go ahead and use a number one scoop, like an, a one ounce scoop, and we'll place balls of batter on the parchment. I like to wet my fingertips and round the buns just so that it has a nice smooth uh, round surface, not that flat bottom from the scoop. So we're going to bake our cheese rolls and they're going to be baked at 450 degrees to start off with. So what I mean by that is that the oven has been set for 450. I go to the oven, I turn the oven off and I let it sit for five minutes. After that five minutes, your oven has now reached 400 degrees. I turn the oven back on at 400 degrees and bake until thoroughly cooked through. I would say 15, 20 minutes. Also, you can use a thermometer and an internal temperature of 190 to kind of set the dough, if you would. These cheesy buns can be served with cheese, soup, uh, just about anything. They're really quite delicious.